What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this amazing looking cafe in Revit so I'm continuing on with my interior design in Revit tutorials and if you want to check any of the previous ones out make sure to check out the link in the description I've created a playlist for this and before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and for this I'm just going to be using the architectural template and before I start doing anything I like to set the units first to centimeters this is a interior design project and I prefer using centimeters for that. Now I'm just going to move Revit out of the way for a second and as you can see over here I've got some families saved on my desktop. Now most of these families are from Revit City and I'm going to be linking all, all of those in the in the description and one of these uh, I all I created in a tutorial so I've also included the link to that tutorial so for this light family so make sure to check that out afterwards okay so first I'm just going to uh, load in this kitchen uh, family and this family is actually going to determine a lot of the dimensions in our drawing because we already have a completed kitchen so it doesn't make sense to model a kitchen of our own so let's just wait for a second till it loads and now we can maximize Revit on this screen and okay so we have this kitchen uh, mid-size kitchen element and as you can see we can't place it anywhere so the first thing we need to do is we need to go here and just create a floor so just create a rectangle kinda like that doesn't really matter for now just we need something to host our family this family happens to be uh, face based or floor based so that's why we need to place it on a floor okay so we have a kitchen over here here's the bar here's the sink uh, the furnace or whatever and here we have the the fridge so this will be the kitchen for our cafe and let me just go now into wall command and let's create a rectangle around this and now I'm just going to be using the align tool to help align these walls to the to this and for this year dimension I'm just going to leave around 170 centimeters in this year distance then this wall from this over here I'm going to leave it at yeah let's do 500 now I'm just going to create a new wall so just WA for wall and place another wall over here and align it to this over here so we have this wall kind of separating the, the kitchen from the rest of our cafe and this will be just a small cafe okay next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another wall over here and let's do it at a distance of I don't know 220 maybe that's okay and then just trim and extend this like that maybe make it a bit smaller and now just go into WA again for wall and create two walls over here so basically how this will work if I go here to the door command let's place one door over here and just let's do the small door over here as well as over here so basically we have this is the the entrance will be over here this will be a curtain wall so we have some storefront glazing over here so you enter this the cafe over here here's the bar here will be the main seating area we'll have a small kind of the wall wall based uh, table over here with some bar stools this will be the bathroom for all the customers and this will be the bathroom for employees and this will be kind of a little storage area for employees so we have all of that and now we can adapt our floor so just go edit boundary and then we can adapt our floor to the dimensions of our walls so kinda like that and you just leave it at that now let me just go to one of the elevations let's do this this is east elevation so for level 2 I'm just going to place it at something like 3 meters so 300 centimeters and I'm just going to select all of these walls so you can select one of them or let's go inside yeah this is a bit easier so you just select all of the walls and you go here for top constraint instead of unconnected let's connect them to level 2 okay so once we have this done let's just go into 3d and see what this looks like 
Okay, this is already shaping up to be interesting. And if I just go, go now into realistic, you can see we need to uh, uh, to kind of determine some of the materials. So first, let's change this kitchen. It's a bit ugly in my opinion. So I'm just going to go here to edit family. And now we can actually change this family we have. Or even easier, if we just cancel out of that, let's not save anything. Some of the families might have uh, par parametric materials. So if I just select this family and go into edit type, as you can see here we can change. So we don't have to go into edit family, we can change everything in type properties. So for this material, let's just choose birch wood. Let me search for birch, load it in, and let's select that one. And I'm just going to go control C and just uh, place it anywhere where we have these cabinets and for countertop I like to have a black counter countertop so let me just search for black material and let's see paint black I don't like to have glossy I think it will be let's do a black plastic maybe this will work fine I don't like to have too much reflection it looks like a mirror in Revit and I don't really like that so you go apply and just like this birch and control C just to keep it on the on there so now you can select your doors and go into edit type and just paste here the birch material just go apply and now you can see the the door changed same thing with this door just control V control V so this is a quick way to change all of the materials okay so this is already shaping out to be cool and let's just select one of these walls go into edit type and change their material to something white so let's search for white and let's do this gypsum wall board that's the the whitest of the white materials and for these two walls I will want to keep them white I want to change them to some old school brick just to look kind of a bit rustic or whatever so just go into edit type duplicate let's just call it generic wall 2 who cares and here I'm just going to search for brick and let's see I like to use this uh, Norman let's see this Norman brick and if I load it in and if I go here to appearance and make this a bit larger if wait wait for a second you can see these bricks are quite small and I don't like that so I'm just going to open up this menu go into edit image and here from 60 I'm just going to change this to 120 and go done and now you can see the bricks are a lot larger and the material looks a lot better so I'm just going to go apply okay okay again okay again and there we go so we have the, these two brick walls they look kind of cool so let's leave them at that and for the floor I, I like to have an interesting floor so let's go into edit type go to edit material or to structure and then material and let's search here for tile and here we have tile and I like this style this looks quite cool but I don't like the 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 colors so I'm just again going to open up this drop menu go into edit image and here you have invert image option and if I go done you can see it looks a lot cooler I really like the blue color so let's leave it at that go apply okay okay apply okay and there you go and if it's kinda too too small again like the last one let's just change the the size of this image as well so let's just go with a hundred done okay apply okay okay apply okay there you go it looks a lot better okay now we need to add some more furniture so let me just go here into architecture go into component and let's go model in place so we're going to do, be doing a bar table so let's just call it furniture furniture one who cares go into create and now let's set the work plane and we go pick plane and let's pick this wall over here and now we can go to extrusion and just place a line over here kind of going like that straight you select it and let's move it a bit a bit more okay we don't really have the dimension I'm looking for so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dimension this from this to this now select this and let's place this at 130 so this is at 130 that's fine and now let's kinda combine this into a kind of the tabletop and for this distance let's do six centimeters that works and for this one let's do 40 that works and let's just go finish change the material to our birch wood 
and I like to have repeating the, I like to repeat the same material so more materials you have it's a lot harder to make them look all good and make them work together so kind of place it like that all the way here towards the, do the door and just go finish and let's do the same thing on the other wall on this white wall so go create extrusion set the work plane you go pick a plane okay and let's put, pick this plane over here and let's just choose this kind of like that and place it a bit down and go dimension and again dimension it like this select it and change this to 130 kind of like that and let's go now from here kind of like that and let's just trim and extend everything in place okay and for this distance yeah six centimeters delete this dimension and just go finish and again let's choose our birch wood and let's connect it over here okay so this looks fine so just go finish model okay so let's load some more families inside so let me move this out of the way and let me move load in this plant material as well as the bars tool okay so we loaded these two in and let me place the bars tool and let's just rotate it as you can see this uh, foot bar foot rest I guess you would call it is at the wrong side so let me rotate it kind of towards the table and let me just leave it over here Next thing, I'm just going to go to architecture and for the component, let's choose our plant. So, and let's place our plant over here. Now I'm just going to select it and give it an offset of 130. So it appears over here on our uh, bar table. And now let's go back into level one. But as you can see over here, we can't see our bar and we can't see our plant. That's because, and let's maximize the screen. I forgot about that. Uh, that's because we're cutting this whole floor plan at 110 centimeters. That's the default in Revit. So I'm going to change that by just going to VR, so VR view range. And here, cut plane, or sorry, we're cutting at 120. So let's change it to 140 and just go apply. Okay, and now we can see our plant. And let's move our plant over here in the corner, kind of like this, and let's create similar with an offset of 130 and place one over here as well in the corner and now let's just select this go array let's do five and make sure you check last over here you select this and you move it all the way to the other end and now you have something that looks like this so this works fine do the same thing over here just array number three make sure it's last and that it's a linear 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 array okay so just a rate like that so we have that and we do the same thing with these tools and let's just copy this one to the other side and let's just rotate it by 180 degrees so it's facing towards that direction and now you just place it over here and you just select it a rate by the value of three and then you just go like that so you have that and then you just copy this once over here and we're going to repeat the same thing over here so we just select this one kind of make sure to place it kind of like that go into array last three iterations or three numbers kind of like this you kind of move it in place you go copy and let's select this over here make sure that multiple is selected and constraint is deselected or unchecked and you just go like this and here we won't place any chairs because this is where the door is and you won't, don't want to have the door in the same place anyway let's continue on let's place some tables here in the middle so that's the important part so let's just see do we have our table yeah parametric table and here we have some table and we can rotate it by 45 degrees just to make it look a bit fancy and now let's place it like that let's go into edit type or no not edit type let's see here let's do the biggest one or not the biggest but let's see the biggest with four chairs yeah kinda like this and then just copy and make sure that the multiple is selected so you copy one here you select these two you go copy and you copy like that and that's enough tables and now we can select all of these and kinda place them in the middle but still we have to have more room over here because the door will be here and now let's place the door while we're talking about the door 
So to place a door, you need to load it in. So you just go insert and let me again maximize this. So go to insert, go to load family. You search a bit back. Let's see what we have here. Metric. And now I'm just going to search for doors. And here you just select the first one and you kind of scroll through. You find this glass door. You open it up. Now you select this here element. You go CS for create similar and you place it over here. And as you can see, this is about 90 centimeters, which is perfect for a door. So now you just hover over this wall, you hit tab once, then you can select this panel, you unpin it, and then you search in the properties, you find your glass door, and there it is. So we have our glass door over here, and let's just, let's just move this a bit down, and let's make it extra bit fancy. I know, I'm, I'm going crazy with the fanciness over here, but who cares? So I'm just going to move this out of the way just a bit more. Load in this bicycle, and this is just an artistic, old-school, hippie, uh, hipster bicycle. So let's just place it over there, and now maximize this, and let's put a couple of more plants over here. Let's just scroll down. Where are the plants? Oops, what is this? Plant plant yeah and let's place one plant over here one over here let's go into 3d and yes it looks extra fancy with that bicycle so I really like the way this turned out so just to finish it off we can add a ceiling and some lights in that ceiling so just go to level one and now let's go to ceiling and let's do sketch ceiling and you just pick lines and you pick maybe this line, this line, this line, this one here and this one here and one here. And then you just go trim and extend and you trim everything in place. So let's see, this works, this works, this as well. Okay, we're finished with that ceiling and let's go into 3D. Yeah, it looks perfect. Just select it and change it to this 60 by 60 centimeter just to have a white ceiling. And now let's add some light to this ceiling. And how do you do that? You go here to ceiling level one, but as you can see, we can't really see any, any of the furniture and the furniture really determines the placement of lights. So what you need to do is you need to go into and scroll down over here to the underlay and change the underlay to level one and go apply and now you can see some furniture and now you can easily place all of your lights so move this out of the way load my light family inside and as i said this i have the tutorial for this and the link is in the description so let's place a couple of lights over here a couple over here and do the same thing over here kind of a couple of lights for every three chairs i think that's that's fair enough, in my opinion. And let's load some, gen and let's just, or go into 3D like this. And now you s select these lights. So I'm just going to select every other one. And this is the parametric part of that family that I created. I make it so I can change the material easiest as possible. So I'm just going to f search for white over here. And let's see, let's do this white material. Yeah, so these are white, and now I'm going to search the, select the other ones and change them to yellow, just to make it a bit more fancy. And let's see, yellow, yellow. Okay, so this is now yellow, and as you can see, it looks quite cool. Okay, so now it's time to see what this looks like in a rendering, so what I'm going to do is, oh, and before we do that, we need to kind of close it off because we don't have a ceiling over here. So to close it off, I'm just going to select this, go copy, paste, align to selected levels, level two. And here I'm just going to edit it just a bit to kind of close it off. Nope. Yeah, kind of like this. And don't worry, you won't see these tiles because we have a ceiling over here. So let's just go to level one and let's place a camera over here. So let's do kind of the standard boring view and let's angle it down a bit so look a bit down and then you extend all of this maybe kind of like that and now if we hit double R we get this render let's go to medium and let's change the lighting uh, scheme to interior sun and artificial and just hit render
and this is something that we get. Okay, now of course you can play around, make add some more, uh, some more internal uh, artificial lights, change the materials a bit, but you get the point. So that's how you design a cafe, a French cafe in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.